Welcome back to PSE's Tech Bite. Today we keep on talking about uh, extending Microsoft Viva and specifically Microsoft Viva connections. And today we will start digging into the ACS or Adaptive Card Extensions uh, development. An Adaptive Card extension is an extension that you can build for Microsoft Viva connections uh, targeting the dashboard and the desktop or mobile experience of Viva and you can implement whatever logic you like inside those cards. When you create a card, you can have two different views. There is the card view, which is a simple one based on a text, on an image, and eventually on one or two buttons, and it can be a medium or a large sized card. And you can also have a quick view card, which you can use to render a richer content, like, for example, a list of items that you can bind from an external data source or stuff like that. A quick view card is based on a JSON template of an adaptive card. In order to create an AC, you simply need to use the SharePoint framework version 1.13 or later. And in that one, you will be able to create a new flavor of SPFX extension, which will be an adaptive card extension. And in there, you will find all of the base types and all of the primitives to create your own adaptive card extension. So let's move to the demo environment. And like always, let's start playing with ACs with SPFX. So let's start creating our very first adaptive card extension using a SharePoint framework. And as such, we will use the Yeoman generator for SharePoint framework, like we always do whenever we want to create a SharePoint framework solution. As you can see, I'm using the 1.13 version. This name for the solution is totally fine. I will target SharePoint online only and I will use the current folder as the folder for my solution. I will just provide the default answer for these uh, uh, questions, and now I can choose what kind uh, of component I want to create. And as you can see, I have uh, this new adaptive card extension option. I will select this one, and now I can choose the flavor of the um, card that I want to create. And actually, there are three options available in SPFX. Let's start with the very first one, so the primary text template. And in the upcoming episodes, we will dig into each of them. So let's go for the default, and this will be the AC uh, Hello World. Okay, whatever it will be the description. And now we are scaffolding the solution. It, it will take a while, and right after that, we will be able to see what got generated. Great, so the SharePoint framework solution has been fully scaffolded and we can now dig into the source code using, for example, Visual Studio Code. So let me open it, and let me show you what uh, we have got generated. In the well-known SRC folder, we have an adaptive card extensions folder and in there we have a TypeScript file which defines uh, our extension. As you can see, we have an AC Hello World Adaptive Card Extension, which extends the base Adaptive Card Extension. This one accepts an interface for defining a set of properties and another one for defining a state for my component, like we are used to have in any other SharePoint framework component. Well, in this extension, in the onInit method, we register through some out-of-the-box available objects like the card navigator and the quick view navigator, we register two different cards, a card view and a quick view. The card view will be the default card of our extension, while the uh, quick view will be the additional one that we can activate through the UI of our adaptive card extension. Here we also have the handling, for example, of the render card method, which has been overridden based on the base type. And here we specify that the default card that we will render upon rendering of our adaptive card extension will be the card view registry ID, which is the ID we have right here, and which will define a card view that we have in a different TypeScript file right here. The card view that we have is another class which extends one of the flavors of 
card view base template that we have in SharePoint Framework. And right now, in our example, we choose to have the primary text uh, sample. Uh, so here I am extending the base primary text card view, which is one of the three base types that we have uh, in the SharePoint Framework base library. In this card view, we simply define a set of buttons, which we could have uh, optionally. We are not forced to have buttons in a card, but by default, the template will include uh, a uh, card buttons method implementation which will return just one button which will be a button that will activate a quick view which one the one with this specific id which is a card that i can find under the quick view folder here where i have uh, yet another type the quick view class which extends the base adaptive card view and here we still provide a set of properties and a state, as well as the interface defining a set of data, a data source actually, that we can use to render the quick view. In fact, we have a data method here that we uh, provide, which will return the quick uh, I quick view data type, and internally will simply provide three properties: title, subtitle, and description. Well, if we go to the template folder here, we can see a JSON template of an adaptive card based on the well-known adaptive card syntax that you can find on the website adaptivecard.io on the web. And here we simply do the data binding of the three properties that we have in our data interface. So the title, the subtitle, and the description. So basically, in the card extension, we register the card view and the quick view. We start by showing the uh, card view as the default view. And upon clicking on a button in the uh, card view, we can activate the quick view. This is the out-of-the-box behavior of the auto-generated uh, adaptive card extension when you use the Yeoman generator for SharePoint framework. On top of that, whenever a user will click on the card view on card selection, we still activate an external link which will uh, simply open this website in a tab, just for the sake of having a, a fully uh, working uh, example scaffolded by the tool. So now let's start the terminal window and let's see uh, in action this adaptive card extension. So gulp serve, no browser in my scenario, and I will start the uh, uh, Node.js uh, uh, locally and I will start publishing my solution under localhost for debugging purposes. And as soon as it will be ready and listening for requests, we will be able to move to the workbench and see the adaptive card in action. And we are ready. So let me switch to the workbench. Let me refresh the workbench. And I can easily add to the workbench my card, which will be the AC Hello World. Here it is. And as you can see, this is my card. I can go to preview mode. I can see that I have the capability to click on it and to activate Bing, or I can click on the quick view button and I will be able to see the quick view rendered inside the UI of my workbench. This is a very first introduction on building adaptive card extensions, but in the upcoming episodes, we will dig into all of the details, we will see all of the base types, and we will understand how to create real enterprise-ready solutions extending Microsoft Viva connections. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.